What am I doing? What has my life come to? <sighs> Drinking store-bought beer. As the owner of a homebrew shop, you would certainly think I would know better. <laughs> I'm just playing. I love store-bought. And Sierra Nevada, not too bad. Not too damn bad. I do. Mm, I do like it. And thinking of that pale ale, what on earth is going on back here? You know, I realized that we have never brewed an extract batch on the new system. Because I can recirculate do the all grain, it's so easy. You know, it takes me three and a half hours to crank out an all grain batch from cold water to, you know, cool wort. So I was like, hey, uh, the True Brew India Pale Ale Kit is something I've been wanting to try because it actually has an oak addition you add in the fermenter to kind of create a little bit more of like an authentic, you know, barrel age, you know, maybe what they would have had on the uh, actual trips to India, you know, a toasted oak barrel aged IPA. So, um, I'm brewing up a kit we sell. Why not? Should be fun. So we've got uh, two cans of the Muntins Amber, ounce of Pilgrim Hops. I don't think I've ever used these. Good old ounce of Cascade, the oak chips, of course. Muntins Dry Yeast. Man, I haven't used this stuff in a long time. Let's see here. A pound of crisp crushed crystal 60L. That, my friends, is it. Should be nice and quick and easy. We shall see. I'll time it and we'll see, you know, how long this takes from start to finish. So I've already got the water in the kettles heating up, so let's head on over there when it's ready to steep and get rolling. So here we are holding at 155, which is what the recipe calls for. Actually, it looks like it's up at 156 at the moment, but anyway, you get you get the deal. So our hot water is in here. We have got our bag of grains. This feels so weird, but hey, you never know. Whoops, of course I do that. <laughs> you never know until you do it. So Brewing up an extract batch on the big old bad boy here. Let's see how it goes. So we'll get that incorporated there. And obviously, bon voyage. Let me go grab my spoon here. I forgot it. Here we go. Sunk right to the bottom, of course. Ooh, turn a nice and brown. Mm. Smells good. Smells like beer. But you can see I'm just kind of churning the bag around, getting it wet. Heater just kicked on. So yeah, there we go. I'm gonna let that set now. Let's see, what do the instructions say? Shall I check the instructions or shall we just wing it? Let's see, the instructions say, leave for 15 minutes. Remove the grain bag after 15 minutes and discard or compost it. All right, so we're gonna let this sit here 15 minutes. We'll see you when it's time to bring it up to heat. And while our grains are steeping, I thought I would show you here, I am heating up the cans of extract, took the labels off, of course, and a little pan of hot water. Got my immersion heater there, the stick heater ripping. So yeah, get it nice and warm. That heater though will bring it up to boiling, so I'll keep an eye on it, of course, um, and uh, make sure it doesn't get too hot or else the cans will pop open. Yeah, they get, they get, they swell up and I always get so nervous they're gonna explode on me. <laughs> so, so yeah, so we will just let that uh, keep warming up. You can see the convection current, look at that. My gosh. It is that time, so now we've got to find the bag here. Whoop. There it is. Find the top. Whoop, that's the bottom, of course. Of course! There we go. Hot. Hot, hot, hot. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. There we go. Ooh. That got hot fast. 
So I'm just going to let this sit here and drip a little bit. I'm not pressing it, but I do kind of just move it around a little bit. Now we'll let this drip here a bit, and then I'm going to power it up and bring it to a boil. So we'll see you once we hit the boil. Mmm, smells good. You can hear it pulsing. I've switched to manual mode. It was starting to get uh, pretty feisty there. And, you know, I think we're... I think we're there, huh? That looks pretty hot. According to the thing, it's reading 208, which is about two degrees low. Like I said, I've calibrated my mash ton for this, not this. So, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna kill the heat now. We're gonna blend in the liquid malt extracts. I've already popped the top here on them. So we're gonna go ahead and get this incorporated. I'm gonna try to add it away from the uh, coil. Effort to try to, I guess, minimize getting it on the coil. A little tricky, I didn't think about that. I've got all these probes and stuff in here. And, uh, yeah, I'm like whacking the hell out of them right now. I can feel it. it smells great though. It smells real good. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep getting this incorporated here. I did take the cans out, I think a little too early. They've gone a little thick again. It's so cold in the house right now, but. Just keep scraping. We'll get all this incorporated here. I'll give it a good stir for a little while here and uh, basically uh, get it incorporated so that way hopefully if any does get on the coil it won't be sitting there trying to energize you know just immediately scorching it so hopefully it'll have time to dissolve in and we'll of course feel the bottom. Yep I don't feel anything there. I'm not feeling any stick so all right get the next can, we'll get it incorporated, and we'll see you once we get up to the boil. Okay, so we've made it past that hot break, and now that means it's time for some Pilgrim Hops. Yeah, like I said, I've never used these, I can't quite tell you what they'll be like, so we shall see. Of course, I've got the spray bottle ready. Oh, I love 
this thing. Oh yeah! I barely had time to move the camera and it's already at 64 degrees coming out of here. So, in there we go, dial it down. Away we go. Open. There we go. All right. Sitting at 59 degrees. Oh my gosh! I gotta turn this up. I need to get a water throttle over here too. That'd be handy. Our groundwater is so cold right now. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're back up to 62 now. <laughs> Holy crap. Good problem to have, I guess, though, right? Okay, time to take our refractometer reading. Cleaned and sanitized, of course. Get a little bit on there. Take a sample for myself. Ooh, that's pretty good. Real malty. That's a malty one, Clark. Didn't the moose tell you this was going to be a malty one? Alright, let's see where we're at here. We're at 10.48, 1.048, which is just a little bit below, uh, just a little bit below where their specs recommend. They said 10.50 to 10.52, but I did add more water because I knew I was going to lose it, you know, in the lines here. Um, and uh, so this has got a little bit more water in it, so that's to be expected. So now we'll take our Munton's yeast. I have not used this stuff in so long. So, so long. All right, lovely. That smells delicious. And now we're going to add our, uh, let's see, our oak chips. Oh, there we go. Some oak chips. Should be good. Mmm, man, looks like charcoal. <laughs> They're big chips, that's nice. These are really nice. There we go. I was trying to give it evenly around, you know. <laughs> now I've got our cleaned and sanitized spoon to boop it all in. I'll give it a gentle stir, how about that? I guess that wasn't very gentle, was it? <laughs> we'll give it a stir, how about it? Alright. Get off there, oak chip. I want you in there. That'll be good. Okay, so now we take our lid here. Get her all lined up like usual. Let's see, where are we? Right over here. Yeah. So get this popped on, and then what we're going to do is get the airlock in place and then put it in the fermenter. So we'll see it in just a bit. YouTube, a brew day in the bag. I took a uh, time and it took me just under two hours start to finish to get everything done, which seems about on track. Uh, the boil, of course, took full hour um, and the uh, cooling actually only took a few minutes this time. Our groundwater is so cold it was real fast. So, um, yeah, yeah, I guess the rest of it was me dilly dallying and moving the camera around, right? I'd be curious if I didn't film it how quick I could knock one of these extract batches out. So, um, gravity was a little uh, just a little bit under where it was supposed to be, but I knew it was going to be that way because we had extra water added to compensate for all the loss in here. I was shooting for five gallons, ended up just over five gallons, so if I had paired it back, it probably would have been spot on. So, yeah, pretty good. Um, batch smells great. Everything looked to go pretty good. So, yeast is in. It's in the fermentation chamber over there. 
Um, and yeah, it'll be time now to just uh, give it a couple weeks and then we'll keg it up and give it a tasting. So, can't think of anything else to say except thanks for watching, like always. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. Uh, like the video if you can. Share with friends, family, everybody else. Uh, it's definitely appreciated. And uh, yeah, hope you've been enjoying a couple more brew videos here. And then, yeah, extract on this gigantic system. Very, very nice. Um, I don't see any uh, caramelization on the actual uh, heat stick. Heat stick. Gosh, the element. <laughs> Let's call it what it is, shall we? Um, so yeah, look to uh, looked to have avoided any you know singeing or scorching that could have happened uh, from the liquid malt extract sinking in there and getting on there. I, I made sure to mix the crap out of it, so so it should work out pretty well. So so yeah, I'm feeling good about this one. So thanks as always for watching. Uh, please do subscribe all that good jazz and uh yeah i guess we'll just see you when we see you so cheers everyone 17 and uh yeah we'll be doing a taste testing on this one very soon excited